Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome, welcome to Blackpool. African world traveler here. I'm live and direct in Blackpool. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're here to show you how things look like in the dark in Blackpool. Someone sat on the wall here. Yeah, how you doing, man? Good. Yeah, it's not bad. At least it's not raining. And it's the weekend. It's the weekend in Blackpool. Let's go in town. Let's show you how things are in town. At least it's not raining today. It was raining the past few days, actually. Yeah, it was wet, 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 as we all know, it's always raining in the United Kingdom. Too much rain. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go and explore, guys. Hmm, should I show my face? Maybe later. So, look at the lights, look at the illumination. The lights are on. It's January, and the Christmas market, all this ice skating ring is still on that's still going so we're gonna head down there in few minutes you will uh, see we will all see we will all see let's see how busy it is or it will be in town once we get there it's getting dark though it's not even it's not even uh, five o'clock yet and it's dark it's getting dark so see the visibility is getting down, it's low, so the lights are on. Even the street lights are on and it's only 20 past four in the afternoon. Everyone is keeping wrapped up, everyone is keeping warm. So yeah, I don't want to walk too fast guys, but at the same time, I want to get to town before it's completely dark because my camera my camera haven't got a light on on it so so obviously the video wouldn't be in in good shape or color or it'll be dark to see the visibility visibility wouldn't be clear wow look at the sea man wow look at it it's calm though Come this end, but it looked a bit rough down the other side. And look at the sky. Wow, look at the sky over that end. Wow, it's amazing, man. I love living by the sea, but the only sad thing you can't swim on the Blackpool Sea. <laughs> That's the only thing, you know. That's the only downfall. But yeah, overall, it's good to live around the seaside. But you can't swim on it. You can't swim in here. Most of the time anyway, 9 out of 10 is rough. The sea is rough. And like I said, it's dirty. So yeah, that's a black pool of buttes. And that's a tram. That's the tram there. So yeah, we can see the iconic tower. So basically they were saying, uh, was it last week? They were saying there's a there's fire outbreak on the tower. But guess what? It was a false alarm. It was going around. I was in Sheffield. I keep getting messages like, oh, there's a fire, there's a fire in the tower. I'm saying, damn, damn, I'm out of Blackpool. Something is happening. So I'm missing the great content there. But then guess what? It was just a reflection. It's a reflection light. And they told it's a fire and they got a lot of fire engines, police, everything. You know, down down in town in, in the tower. So some people are even saying, oh it's a suspect terror attack. You know how people are like small-minded people. It's a suspect terror attack, terror attack. It's just rumors. Some people are like sus can't wait to spread fake news some people love to spread fake news especially 
the anti-immigration and people that don't like you know some other nationalities you're running out it's a terror attack some people were arrested or detained probably they're innocent and you know straight away oh it's a terror suspect oh this is that is that you know so we don't do fake fake news guys that's why our contents are raw everything is straight out in town and uploaded to our channel we don't edit we don't filter everything is raw guys whatever i do i don't make it make it up even my thumbnails everything nothing been made up everything is fact yeah even though it's not spot on it's fact so that is the most important thing about this channel guys we don't do fake rumors we don't do hate we do our thing we do our we do we we do our do what we do we don't copy anybody else we don't follow what other people do so we do we do our day-to-day -day, whatever we encounter that's what we do oh that hotel seems shut man parisian hotel that shot as you can see everything furnitures are all over so this will happen in the winter in the winter guys more likely things are dead everything almost is dead in blackpool yeah everything is dead usually in this road here it's come it's dead as well you know if you go all you can go all the way to Plaza beach in a space of five minutes but this year though it seems bad still going you know the council is posting things to keep thing keep things alive as you can see there's a coach there there's a coach park on that driveway you know on the park car park of a hotel as you know it's all quiet probably they're the only guests in the hotel so he can park there because obviously maybe they didn't got no private guests or people coming individually these are more likely group of pensioners or elderly people from a different county or town or cities that's days blackpool so there's only few hotels that are round the clock like the whole year round operating in blackpool so much of the much of the small hotels or businesses are shut in the winter because obviously there'll be no business for them there'll be no sales like north pier is friday so north pier you see is dead it's nothing there no light nothing as you can see the only thing that's happening there was is the rides and the uh, that christmas market in in the comedy comedy cafe so that's the only thing that is going around apart from some events they organize like in pubs or clubs even the clubs are dead in the in the winter even the clubs are dead so it's not it's not how it used to be or how it is in the summer so everything is stand still everything is slow but you can see this one here also is a hotel it's no sign like saying it's functioning because obviously there's no lighting and it's only three star actually and that building as well is a hotel too it's a hotel or apartment now it used to be a hotel as a reception court no regent court regent court so it's, as you can see the car park is dead there's nothing there so that's dead Oh, what they drilling here? Are you drilling for some oil or some? What are you drilling? That's a rig, isn't it? I think that does a drilling, you know, like a borehole. Yeah, see them rods. See the rods? They're drilling stuff in here. That's a drilling. That's a drilling machine. That goes down. Bloody drops bang in case of there's a rock as you can see so there side investigation done though yeah that's a drilling machine that'd be handy for me back home you know <laughs> all right man is cycling 
Yes. You know, it's handy though. If you have a bicycle, it's handy in Blackpool. You can just get out and ride around, you know, and explore Blackpool. I think this is a good, like, uh, type for fishing, actually. It's not too bad. And look at the sea color. So it's very rare, like, for you to see the sea being like this color, you know. Usually it's, it's muggy, foamy. It's just actually like a normal sea now. And this is the, it's the this is connected to the Irish Sea, let's say, you know. It's connected with the Irish, the Irish Sea. But look at it, it's just funny though how things change with this the color of the water. So it's like a normal sea color. So but sometimes when you come it's it's like you put a lot of shampoo or or shower gel or bath, you know, bath soap or whatever. It's so foamy and that. But look at it, it's just normal. Normal waves as well. It's a normal sea wave, you know. It's just like, sometimes, you know, when I first came here, I thought this sea like was made, it was a man-made. That's what I thought. Because every time you come, it's, it's in different shape, different color, different waves. It's crazy, man. But yeah, look at it now. It's like a normal sea. Look at it. Look at the color. It's not funny color. It's just like real color. See how, like I said, the youths are there cycling with their bikes. You know, it's not. This place is not a nice. It's not a bad place, to be honest. It all depends on the area you go to. But I think overall, Blackpool is not a bad place. You know, I know it's a poor area. You know, poor suburbs. But yeah, overall it's not bad. That's what I think. You know, you can come out, like couples and sit out and have a chat and you know. I think it could be a better place as well. It could be a better place. But yeah, we are here nearly, nearly to the tower. Guys, it's a bit early. I forgot even it's Friday to be honest. I was like, I was like, damn, I'm off tonight, so why not? Why not? Why don't we get out there and see what's going on? We haven't vlogged in Blackpool for a long time, you know? It's been a while since I released a video from Blackpool. But yeah, let's see what happened about this time. You know, obviously it's winter, so it's dark. It's not even five o'clock and it's dark. So yeah. This is the war monument here in North, North Pier and our famous tower. So like the other day, the other last week when I heard that fake rumors about the Black Wolf Tower is in blaze, I was saying, damn, what's going on? I mean, God forbid if that tower was in flame, what is Blackpool gonna do? Because Many people are coming because of this, because it's been here for a long time, you know. So it's been here for how long? More than 1900 years or so, isn't it? <laughs> More than that, isn't it? So can you imagine if this place just vanished, you know? So it's gonna be a big, big, big losses for Blackpool. Because many people come just because of that. Because this is a generation and generation and generation iconic building so there's a lot of history in Blackpool so this is one of them so yeah so and I think actually uh, the council or whoever is in charge of the tower will set up will set on like a proper regulation of fire safety and all that checks make sure anything there will be no mistakes because obviously it could cause a lot of lives yeah so yeah so they will have a they'll be more careful they will be more careful then about you know so these are not fear this is the amusement amusement place this is the only bit that is open in the north pier and this is it this is the town center there 
So that's a new hotel there. There's so many hotels. There's that hotel and Prime. It's Ibis and Prime. That used to be uh, was it Ibis? Yeah, that bit of that hotel here used to be Ibis. So yeah. So this is it. It's got a lot of few oh, these are locals I guess. You get some holiday makers but wouldn't be as much or as many in the summer so you see there that's a tower and that's Yates's that's Nadigan these are all famous places in the summertime oh it's wife she's waving how does he see me in the distance yeah usually this place are rammed with with punters you know it's lively people are out there smoking and the Irish pop also has been the rave is going but as you can see nothing there hardly only two people there so the only thing that's happening for families is the uh, ice skating and the rides the fun fair there so that's the only thing happening around here Not here, it's nothing there. And even that place, the big house, I bet you it's not busy. I think it's only if it, it's only functioning because of the uh, because of this uh, Christmas market there, or the phone fair, or the rides. I think that's the only reason why it's open. Usually it's shut. But like market will be in January, you know. So by the time you know. People will start coming back in Blackpool. It's January, February, March. You know, like things are gonna start again. Things are gonna start again. This man selling his toys. And this is the information place about Blackpool. That's the information center. If you wanna know any about any about Blackpool or activities, you come here or look on their websites, it tells you. So you see, that's when this skate or this ice skating ring is supposed to end in here. That's Monday, the 1st of January, 12 p.m. to 8. And then that's it, but it's been extended. So you see, it's been extended now. So this is, yeah. That's been extended for another, I think they said two weeks or so. So that's not bad. That's the man selling the toys here. When you're in Blackpool, is the man to see. He's yeah, the one yeah, selling yeah. the toys, isn't it? Yeah. So you're the one selling the toys for the kids. Yeah. Those the adults also buy them as well. Yeah, but in Manchester selling here. You're from Manchester? Yeah. You're selling here? Yeah. Do you travel back? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. So how is it like in the winter? It's quiet? It's quiet, very quiet. Tonight. Very quiet. Maybe, oh, very later quiet. On, maybe a little bit busy, but no. But well, maybe Saturday Other is more busy. Is busy yeah. Other side is busy. Yeah, yeah I'm just walking around and yeah, see. Yeah. yeah, good. Nice. Keep it up, man. Huh? Thank you. All right, you take Thank care. You. Thank you. Right. Man is the one that's selling the toys. Like he said, he's from Manchester. So, you know, see these people, many of them selling these toys. They're not from around here. They're not from around here. They're from Manchester or Blackburn or Bolton. That man, you got the locals here that does it as well, but majority of them come from uh, another town, you know. See, there's many of them selling there. So, I, if you watch my video, you'll see there was a lady that runs a business with her dad as well. See, that's a big house. See what I mean? It's only like two cups. Two, only few in there. See, usually all here is packed. All day is packed with people, but now. Nah. And they say we're here. We're here in Blackpool. They come in carpet. They come in to buy some toys. Kids love them though. Kids love the toys. 
Bless them. When you come here yeah, with your kids, be ready, man. Come with some change. <laughs> come with some change. Otherwise, <laughs> you'll fall out with your kids. They'll be, they'll be, go, they'll be grumpy. They'll be grumpy all, all along, you know. So you have to be ready to come with some change. Come with a couple of quakes, you know. Maybe 50 or 100 quid or something. So the kids will will not be impressed if we don't get them something from Blackpool or I hope we don't get done for copyright man so this is it, this is the ice skating ring you see on that thing it says the first of uh, January and what date are we now? is it the 5th? and things are still going on that's the ice skating ring See, it's quiet. So, oh, they're queuing. It's not open yet. It's, they're queuing to come up. See, it's on the pole. They're all queuing to go on the ice skating ring. Should we queue as well? We ain't got the skating boots, you know. We didn't come our skating boots. Well, I think they provide them. Maybe you can hire them. Or you can bring your own. They're all waiting. Oh, oh. I hope we don't get done for copyright. I hope not. I hope not. Um, because last time we've been to when we were in Sheffield, it didn't take us like even a minute. We got a copyright strike. Kids. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Kids always love to get in their own way, you know. They love to get in their way all the time. If they don't, they'll start crying. Is that a swing? Okay, that's a swing. Let's go, because we don't want kids on our uh, content. So let's move, move. Uh. But it's all about family things, you know. It's all about family affairs in here. Yeah, there's a famous comic cafe. And that's the tower. You can have a proper view here. So the tower is changing the lights in different colors. Blackpool! Who doesn't love Blackpool? Yeah? The sunny, sunny Blackpool. Yeah, if you have a kid and they're on school holidays, you're thinking about bringing your kids here. It worth, the, you know, it worth to drive, you know, before everything gets wrapped up. These are memories, you know. These are memories you share with your loved ones. You know, you never know. Life is too short. Life is too short, you know. Set some memories, you know. Even if you're not here, your kids can watch something and remember you. You know. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to make you sad, but we're just saying how it is. You know what I mean? It's always good to set the memory. <laughs> so this is it. I don't want to get any copyright strikes, so it's best to come out there, come out that way, you know, because of the music. <laughs> music you know we're not earning an income so we don't want to be sharing or <laughs> getting all our content into zero we're not doing it for money we're doing it obviously we love we love doing what we're doing but if it comes to a point like I can replace my job to be a full-time content creator or to have sponsors and that I'm offering you know you know, we're not scared of anything. We can go extra, you know. We can go places that nobody dreamed to go. Is he gonna let me? Yeah. Nice one. Actually, it's busy, you know, with cars and stuff, you know. Over here, it's busy. Look at the weather spoon. The Albert, Albert and Lion. It's busy here, man. It's here. Busy in here, actually. It's not bad. Uh, so we walk further down this way and then maybe let's walk further up. further up I was gonna see if my mate is here that homeless guy I met or so we go in the hunt hill as well uh, let's 
go over this end and see. Maybe I'll see my homeless friend. <laughs> Dino, John and Anthony. Now Anthony is the one in the other street. The one that turned against me. <laughs> he turns against me, you know. That was mad. <laughs> Let's go in the back street and see. Because that homeless guy I met here, he told, he did told me he hangs around here, but he's not here. And then last time we made a content that end, but that doorway with John, but John is not there either. I don't blame them. It's freezing cold, man. Nobody want to sit out there when it's freezing cold and uh, people are not taking notice of you. You know, people are not noticing you or taking notice on you. Oh, there's something happening there, man. Let's go and see. It's me here now. So, uh, let's go shopping, shopping, shopping. That's the patrol warden. I might get told off for filming. <laughs> let's go, let's go and see. Ladies bikes. We don't want any ladies bikes. <laughs> we're, not cr we're not cross dresses. So we're gonna look for some. When I come here, I look for trainers. When I'm here, I look for trainers. Trainers, maybe I need a new coat or some waterproof stuff. We do sell some trainers here. Nah, no, no, no. And that's not even our size. Oh, it's actually 11, size 11. What are they? Puma. That's a big man fit, you know. Big man shoes, that. Uh. How much are they? That's 44.99. It's 45 quid. Not bad in here, man. What am I gonna Gola. That's a different bar. That's a different brand, isn't it? Look like a bit of a uh, LC, LC, Adidas. But no, it's not. That's big man shoes, man. Size is that one? That's size 11 or 12. They'd be good for work. It'd be good for my work, man, because I'm always on my toes. Yo, UK 13, that is big, man. I'm only 11. Maybe I can get away with 12, not bloody 13. 13 is too big, man. 13 is big. Size 13, that's massive. No, it's not much in here. That's, it's not much here with the big man shoes or big man size. That's 84 quid. If it's a black color, I would have Columbia, I would have got it. But no, it's not the right color for me. Let's see how far we're gonna push this before we get stopped. Or told, oh, you're not allowed to film me, you know what you get. When you're filming. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you filming and all that? You're not supposed to film. Let's go, let's go. Ooh. I don't have to say, you know. You know, if you know, you know. Don't have to say about that before they start saying, oh, immigrant, immigrant. So whatever a good thing an immigrant did or do, it's not noticeable. But when you do a bad thing, one mistake, you get bloody, you get your head ripped. <laughs> you get your head ripped, man. You get your head ripped. Do one mistake, then damn, you'll be in big trouble. You'll be in big, big trouble. 
so let's go let's go is that anything that we can get let's see rock sacks that looks like mine isn't it? this looks good my rock sack I need a coat or like some trainers So we get a hand luggage, start jetting in Europe, get a hand luggage, that would be handy that one isn't it, it's not too big, that would be good to jet in, just get into a dry flight in Europe, it's only what, 80 quid, 80, 80 quid man, some, some pillow, travel pillows. Not bad for a tenner. Not bad for a tenner, you know. Mm. No, no, That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Bing for the girls. Bing that makes the girls wing, <laughs> wing or wig. <laughs> wing or wig. Man is so easy. So nice travels, traveling suitcases in here. Really nice. Not bad actually. Not bad in TK maximum. Sometimes they do have sales. Sometimes they have sales. Sport ways. Going to twenty feet. Oh, a medium one. These are medium sizes. I need a large. Go with large or extra large. Yeah, these are the one, man. These are the these are the ones. Yeah, it's not too long. Mm, I've got a hoodie as well. I need something with a hoodie. It's eighty quid. I need something with a hoodie. Guys, we got something we're looking for. I got some jeans, I don't need some jeans. That's oh my god, it's music. I forgot about even the music man. Damn, I'm gonna be done with the copyright again. You'll get done for copyright again. Damn man. Oh god. Too late, too late, too late. Oh god, let's get out of here. Forgot about the music. Forgot about the music. We're done with the copyright. Uh, let's get out of here. This is why I don't come in shops. That's the Nodas. Not a strike, but 